She produces a shiny plastic badge with her face on it, waggling it teasingly. Also, I have a lollipop. She also pops a candy pop into her mouth, letting the paper stick just out, ju letting the paper stick jut out like she's a juvenile chain smoker. I'll take you on a tour of the whole place. We'll have fun. We'll increase shareholder value. It'll be great. I really should start my new job. Start earning you money, right? No, I'm your boss. You do what I say. Got it? My fake credentials aren't going to last beyond today. I need a badge, and I need to case the place without its owner watching my every move. But I'm not seeing a way out of this. She'll throw a tantrum if I protest any further, and I'm trying not to draw too much attention. I'll just have to, just have to do my best to analyze their defense while keeping Bonnie happy. Fine, fine, I'll take the tour. Yay! She yanks a glossy pamphlet from a nearby desk, wiping the trifold out for us to study together. Whipping the trifold out for us to study together. You can lead the way. Just let me know where you want to go, and maybe we'll go there. But let's save my fancy office for last. It's the bestest place in the building. Hmm. Okay, okay. In that case, how about... Fortuna Nutrichemical. Hmm. The C-Suite. Later. Not the lobby. We already did the lobby. Security Center. Material Storage. Management Offices. Research Laboratory. Ooh, that... It's the biggest one. I think that'd be really, really cool. Four visits. Okay, which and I'm assuming that her suite, her private suite, is going to be the fourth one. So let's start somewhere. My ultimate management offices, material storage, security center. I would go research laboratory, security center, management office. And then, of course, the C-Suite private. Material storage seems interesting, but I don't know if that would necessarily help me with the heist. It could if we were, like, were able to find something there to help me through the heist, but I think I can do that with the security center. Management offices is probably where the rest of the formula is, but it also could very well just be in, in Bonnie's office, too. I have a feeling that's where it's going to be. So, material storage. Let's go to the research laboratory because I think, A, that is where Bonnie would be most interested in going and taking me. Because I don't think the security center is really like, that would be that fun for her unless she really likes to look at all the cameras. Um, and then followed by the management offices, which I think is probably the most boring place for her. So we would say that for last. Let's go to the research laboratory first. See what kind of things we're cooking up in here. How about the lab? I'll be spending half my time there, so I'd love to see it for myself. Yay! The lab! I love the lab! Let's go! I knew she would like that. See, I want to make sure that I start with the fun stuff so that it's easier for me to convince her to go to the boring stuff. She grabs my wrist and we're off like a rocket. Oh! We're touching now! That's a good sign. We're doing, like, physical contact. Fortuna Nutrichemicals Research Center, by far the largest open area section of the building. Tanks of hazardous chemicals, workstations full of beakers and flasks, beeping machines and computers doing complex biological simulations. I had always associated Fortuna with their sweets and snacks, so I'd assume this would be a bit more whimsical. Not that it stops Bonnie from acting like a kid in a candy store. Isn't this great? Here's where they make all the flavors of fizz and chonkers and nummy nummies and crunch of crunches. I'm not seeing any treats here. I mean, they do the base research that goes into all those delicious snacks. It looks boring, but in the end, it's tasty as heck. We also make industrial sealants, bug sprays, genetically engineered crops, and biological weapons. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay. I really hope you don't mix the, up the bottles then. You're working material storage, right? Just do your job and that won't be a problem. See, we're working material storage, so maybe don't go there because I'm gonna be working in there anyway. Maybe it's for the best that I'm not actually working today. I'd hate to accidentally ship a bunch of anthrax instead of breakfast cereal. Well, yeah, because I would have an issue with that. Well, it's not all quite impressive. Well, it's all quite impressive and complicated, and there's a lot of it. Haphazardly arranged desks and machines, giant tanks, and a whole jungle gym of rafters and support struts, a support strut high above our heads. Sneaking through this mess is going to be fun. 
fun and easy compared to trying to cross an open space with no cover. Although the horde of hazmat suited scientists is a bit of concern. If any of them work late, I'll have to play into their limited field of vision. And well... Is it safe? Being here, I mean. This looks incredibly dangerous. And hang on, you're not wearing a suit. Oh, I don't need a suit. I'm naturally immune to toxins, poisons, and carcinogens. Apparently because my mom worked in this lab while she was preggers with me. Aha. I'm a mutant. <laughs> okay. Huh. Good for you, I guess. I'm wondering if she's a cape. Maybe she's a cape or a mask. And, which is why she's, that's one of her superpowers, is immune to all of those things. And bad for me, since I made the need to pass through this sector tonight, and I won't be wearing hazmat gear. So it's good for her to know that. I bet I could be a superhero if I wanted. I've got a superpower. Actually, most supers who are immune to poison end up being poison-based supervillains. Supervillains. Like, <laughs> I flooded the room with a deadly neurotoxin to which I'm immune. But you shall perish, foolish hero. Huh. I hadn't thought of that. Maybe I'll be a super villain then. Okay, let's discourage that line of thinking right now and thinking right now and distract her with a question. Ask about the room structure. Maybe get some tips on how you can move quickly through it. Check if super villains have ever attacked this facility before. Learn from their mistakes. Put the caper aside. We need to be a good influence on this kid. What's her favorite superhero? Hmm. Uh. I, I just want to make sure that we do well for... I, I do want to be a good influence on the kid, but I also want to be able to do my job well for Dr. Mayhem, so... Um, check it ever attacked this facility before, learn from this mistakes. Yeah, but supervillains have tried to rob you before, haven't they? Gotta imagine this place has seen some action. Plus, I think she would be fun. It would be, she would have a fun time like talking about this stuff. You wouldn't want to be one of those meanies trying to steal from little girls, right? Well, no, meanies are meanies, and I bet your security has fought them off, right? Come on, story time. Tell me about a cool supervillain fight. Eh, last two villains who tried. One of them bumped into the wrong container, spilled it, and melted. Ooh, that's good intel. I put all the nasty stuff in the tanks marked safe, and all the clean stuff in the tanks marked hazard. Haha. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's it. All the nasty stuff in the tanks are safe and all the clean stuff are hazard. So they're the opposite. Good to know. Yes, that's probably not a workplace disaster waiting to happen. And the other one tried to climb over everything by moving across the rafters, but the fumes from below took him down. That's what I needed to know. So don't go on the rafters like we originally were going to. I'm glad I asked her this question. Silly crooks. Nobody steals from me. I'm getting that impression, yes. Yikes. I want to go somewhere else. Pick a place on the map. Let's get moving. Running out of billable hours. Okay. We're going to the security office. Come on, Chica. Okay, what's next from the map? Let's go to the management. Uh, security center. It's where I was trying to stop it go to go in the first place. To the security center. So I can get a badge that will help me unlock doors later. I can also link in Gibson remotely to bypass and shut down all their defenses, if time is right. Let's do this. You know what would be super fun? Visiting the security center. Why do I feel like she's just gonna say no? I want to see all the cool stuff you have to stop people from. Nah, that's boring. I had a feeling she's gonna say that. But it's probably got blinking lights and monitors to watch and to watch and guys with guns. And it's like an action movie set. Seen it before. It's boring. They sit on their butts all day and night, drinking coffee and talking about sports ball. Also, they make fun of me. They tell me to run along and play with my dolls whenever I try to order them around. I'll go play with my dolls when I want to, not when some boring, smelly old guy tells me to. Well, maybe I can talk to them for you. But I need to... No, no, no. The security center is boring, and I hate it. We're going somewhere else. I could lean on you. I could lean on you to help me pick a, per, a persuasive argument, but I think at this point I should just back off. Too risky. Okay, okay, we'll go somewhere else. Good. Well, at least I learned a few things indirectly. The security center is staffed 24-7, but they're easily bored. It's not much to go on, but it'll have to do for now. Okay, what's next on the map? Let's go to the management office. 
probably would have should have gone to material storage and management office. I had a feeling that that this was she was gonna think this place was boring, but I think these two are pretty boring too. Um, but at least I tried. Let's go to the management offices. Yeah. Um, I'll stick out like a sore thumb in my hazmat suit, but it could be helpful to see the upper floor offices of this place. Might find a less secure entry or exit point that I cannot use later. I'm really curious. Your dad works in the offices upstairs, right? Worked. He worked up there. Then he died. Right. Sorry? Well, how about we visit? I'm going to be filling a lot of paperwork after I move stuff around. I should get familiar with it. It's boring up there. Super boring. I don't wanna. Why would anyone wanna? Okay, negative reaction, but not angry. Just sort of meh. I can work with meh. Let's wait to do our point of. Let's wait to do our point of view. Reverse psychology. Say they don't want her going. Say, say they don't want her going there. Use some bland, it's exciting corporate speak to encourage her. It's a good opportunity to boss people around. She's gonna like that. What? You don't want to boss them around a little? Just for fun? You're a hashtag little girl boss, aren't you? It's time to realize that you're the real deal. A leader. A champion of industry. Let's go right up there and start making some waves. What do you say? I don't know. They just write stuff on papers and put papers in boxes and things. It doesn't feel much like anything. But you're right, I'm a leader and a winner. I can do whatever I want. Let's go apply some core values and practices. She practically drags me off, running off through the building, intent on taking the boring administrative offices by storm. Just another quiet day at the office, until a pint-sized business tycoon kicks up, open the door, and charges in. Okay, you button down cubicle dwelling salary drones, listen up! I want productivity and efficiency reports, and I want them on my desk. Pronto. Wait, my desk is on the other side of the building, and my pony pal's horse farm playset is covering it. So she snaps her fingers and points to the nearest desk. I want those reports on this desk. Pronto. In triplicate. You heard the lady. Get moving. And while they're busy scrambling to appease Bonnie's adorable reign of corporate tyranny, I've got just enough time to sneakily sneak about. What should I try to do while I've got this opportunity? Let's crack open a window. It would make a good entrance or exit for tonight's heist. Root through a filing cabinet or two while pretending to help. Look for sensitive documents. Run around shutting orders at people to help Bonnie terrorize them. She'll like that. I do feel like if I've been appealing to Bonnie this whole time, she might be an she may be able to be an asset towards us and help us with um, the heist, but I didn't end up going that route, so. So, um, root through a filing cabinet or two while pretending to help look for sensitive documents. Um, I feel like this is... This would be a good way to get in. I have to make sure I have a good way to get in. So let's... Rooting through the cabinet or two, I have... I don't know, it... it the, the document may be in here, but I feel like it's in her room. So let's crack open a window and make a good entrance for exit for tenants' heights. Man, it's stuffy in here. I think I'd better let in some fresh air if everyone's going to be running around getting sweaty. But the instant I pop the latches, a stiff breeze flows in and a nearby employee passes out. Whoa, whoa, close it, close it! I slam it quickly, shut it quickly, trying to make, line, make like nothing's wrong. There's all sorts of chemical vents on the roof. Can't open the windows up there. Only my corner up. There's all sorts of chemical vents on the roof. Can't open the windows up there. Only my corner office is far away enough for them to do that. Oh, uh, okay. Noted for future reference. Looks like this isn't a good entry or exit point. But if Bonnie's personal office is far enough away from the fumes, that's also good to know. And while I'm here, I spot a loose cookie rated security badge. One of the employees rushing around must have dropped this. A cookie won't get me as far as a gumdrop or a lollipop, but I'm running out of opportunities to get any badge, so yoink. Finally, the employees slap a giant stack of reports on the desk in front of Bonnie. Kind of amazing how fast they did that. Eh, bored now. Let's go. You don't even want to look at them? Instead, she dumps the entire stack into a nearby industrial grade paper shredder. Paperwork is boring. We've got more fun stuff to do today. Yes, ma'am. All right. I feel bad for the employees, but I'm reasonably sure there was actually nothing in that report but random junk paper. I doubt this is the first time that Bonnie has come up here to throw her weight around a little, and by this point, they know how to deal with it. 
Okay, what's next for the map? Um, okay, well I guess we are gonna go to materials. I guess we're going to everything. So, material storage. I'll be spending a good chunk of my time in material storage, so let's go there next. Okay, we'll need my lollipop badge. She leads up. She leads on to the nearest entrance to the central warehouse, an imposing steel door with a high-grade badge reader. Oof, if I don't get a gumdrop or higher, having Gibson electronically hack the system is going to take forever. There's a biometric scanner, but Bonnie doesn't bother with it. The door just opens. Don't you need like a retina scan or a thumbprint or to lick the panel or something? I can't reach it, so I made him turn that thing off. Who needs it? I've got a badge. That's enough. Okay, one point in my favor. With a swipe, the intimidating door allows entry. It makes a bit of a racket, but at least it slides open quickly enough. Huh. Wow, this place is huge. It's got to be at least three stories tall. Similar steel doors are visible in the distance, connecting to other parts of the building. Security offices, the lab. So, I can approach from various angles, but they're all using the same tech. Same problem, no matter how we approach it. And here's where all the important stuff is kept. Snack prototypes, documentation archives, propriety hardware components, chemical reagents, biological weapons. Bump the wrong box in here and kaboom! Everything burns with green flame. Oh, good. Don't worry, if you do your job well, nobody dies. If you don't, well, at least there won't be enough left of you to sue afterwards. If that program code Isaac needs is anywhere, it'll be here. I need to locate it before Bonnie gets bored and hustles us along. Wow, you take security seriously here. It makes sense to keep all your company secrets in a warehouse like this. Who wants to leave important stuff just lying around in, the, in a folder? Or just some computer that can get hacked? I bet you even have computer programs in here, right? Eh. Boring, boring, boring. All that trade secret stuff is boring. So maybe she wouldn't be keeping it in her room. So I made it less boring. Follow me. Curious, I follow her into the central section of the warehouse. Oh, to a cage of high powerful laser beams guiding through the air surrounding multiple sealed containers reading chonkers. Holy shirt. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to swear in front of a, a what? A business executive? Hmm. Anyway, behold, the most secure part of the entire facility. It's a cage made from lasers. Pew pew! You couldn't actually see the beams, so I turned on a smoke machine and made them visible. It's no fun if you can't see the beams. So I take it that if you interrupt a beam, it sets off an alarm. Yep. Also, you get sliced into little itty bitty pieces. But there's definitely an alarm too. Yay! Fork. But you said you had trade secrets in there. Looks to me like an ordinary box of big chonkers. I like big chonkers too, but isn't this a bit ex I like big chonkers too, but isn't this a bit excessive for candy? I had our most sensitive information printed on the candy wrappers. Why? WTF? Because chocolate's more fun than boring old paper files. And because nobody's gonna steal either my candy or my company's proprietary proprietary information. So not only do I need to break into a highly secured facility and the most secured room within the secured facility, I also need to deal with a haphazard array of deadly lasers between me and my target. And if the laser grid doesn't work, I also have hidden kill saws in the walls, an army of murder robots, and other surprises. Yay! All of this is my idea, and anybody who doesn't make my ideas a reality gets fired. Ha 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 ha! Ugh. Wow. Maybe it's not as easy as stealing candy from a baby. Okay, we are not brute forcing our way through this absolute maze of death. We need a better play than that. Okay, bored now. Let's go. Well, wait, don't you want to tell me more about your amazing security system? Mm, okay, you can ask one question. How is all of this powered? Lasers, robots, and kill saws. Maybe we can cut off the source. There has to be a single... There has to be an angle of attack. Can we come in from above? Ask about the shelves up there. She has to be able to monitor and control it all. Is this routed through a security center? Hmm. She has to be able to monitor and control it all. Is this routed through the security center? Yeah. I'm thinking she has to be able to monitor. Both of these are the right ones. I don't like having to like risk going through the shelves. Either cut the power, 
How all this power? Lasers, robots, and kill saws. Maybe we can cut off the source. One of these two. She has to be able to monitor and then control it. Is this all rooted to the security center? Yeah, how do you control everything? This seems... This seems like too... The thing is, this seems a little bit too um, eager of a question. Like, yeah, how do you control all of this? Asking how it's all powered is also a little intrusive of a question, but not as intrusive as like, how do you control all of this? So I feel like this would be a little bit less suspicious. She's, she's, she may be 10 years old, but she's not dumb. So this, yeah, all of these are kind of suspicious, but this is probably like one of the lesser suspicious ones. How is all of this powered? Lasers, robots, and kill, and lasers, robots, and kill saws? Maybe we can cut off the source. I can't even begin to imagine how much electricity you need to power all of that. Yeah, see, that's not not very, like, suspicious. How's it all work? Off-site nuclear reactor? Previously unknown molecular compound? Tiny black hole? Nah, I just plugged it into the wall over there. And she points to a single power strip, so overflowing with extension cords that I can barely see the, the dinky red light on the switch. You know, I shouldn't be surprised by this. And yet I am. Can we go now? Yeah, I think I'm good. Advantage gained. Nice. That will help a lot. A huge amount. We're running out of time. The end of the workday is rapidly approaching and I still don't have my badge. I barely have any useful information thanks to Bonnie's helpful tour. But I just can't just ditch her. I gotta play along. Meaning one last stop to make. Ooh! And finally... My office! Jazz hands. Posh furnishings, elegant style, expensive decorations, great view from the windows, and tons and tons and tons of toys scattered over the floor. Coloring books on the shelves, candy wrappers and empty soda cans aplenty. Corporate stuff gets really tiring. I like to come here to take naps and relax. It's my private office. I mean, my new parents have offices too, but they're not usually here. They prefer other campuses and offices in the Fortuna family. Gee, can't imagine why. Sometimes the CFO works here, but that's just because he likes working with Miss Susan from the fi filing department. I think they're like exercising because I hear a lot of grunting and groaning from his office. Oh, who is this? The CFO? Oh, with Susan from the fire filming department. Uh-huh. You don't say. But Miss Susan says he's a two-pump champ, whatever that means. So they don't exercise for very long before he leaves. Mm-hmm. That's good intel, I guess. Uh, Bonnie, please do me a favor and never try to interrupt them when they're exercising. Meh, I don't need exercise. I run around and play all day. That's enough for a calorific deficit. So, sit, sit, let's play. Workday's almost over and I really need to go get my badge, ma'am. Well, workday's almost over and I really need to get, go get my badge, ma'am. Sit, play. With a sigh, I sit and pick up one of the many dolls strewn over the place. Let's play superhero. I'm the superhero, which means I have to be the villain. She carefully arranges two dolls in the pink plastic airplane, demonstrating how she wants me to swoosh through the sky before handing it over. Pilot to ground control on Vector Charlie 9 Alpha. No turbulence. Over. And I'm gonna be Paladin. He flies and he's strong and nobody messes with him. Bonnie picks up a doll with a makeshift cape, making it swoosh along with my plane. This has not been a productive casing session. Not a total waste. I've learned a bit. But if I wasn't stapled to Bonnie's side, this would have been a lot easier. The main problem is that badge. I stole a loose cookie badge, but that's not going to get me into the storage warehouse easily. It's risky, but you need to steal Bonnie's high clearance badge. Swap your cookie for her lollipop. I don't know, that might get me into serious trouble. She's pretty smart. I feel like I'll get caught. Bonnie will hate you, but make up an excuse to ditch her so you can finally go get your dumb drop. Mm. The cookie's going to have to be enough. Gibson may be able to upgrade it with a hack. Hmm. I want to stay on Bonnie's good side, because I feel like if I if I get in Bonnie's bad side, it's going to be worse. It'll be worse for me when I do the caper. So... 
The cookie is going to have to be enough. Gibson may be able to upgrade it with a hack. Yeah, this entire situation is way too volatile. I can do a switcheroo with Bonnie's badge, but if she notices, I'm cooked. And honestly, I don't want to just ditch her. She's frustrating, annoying, a total brat, but I understand why. Whoosh, whoosh, I'm an airplane, flying around. Okay, now you're hitting a storm and you're in trouble. Oh no, pilot to ground control. There's lightning all around me. My passengers are in trouble. Oh, woe is me. If only there were a strong, capable, brave hero who could save the day. Never fear, citizens. Paladin is here to save you. Whee! Bonnie positions her dolly. Clearly a fashion model doll given a homemade superhero outfit crafted from construction paper. Under my plane. I'll just lift the plane up and carry it safely down to the ground. Hooray! Thank you, Paladin. We're okay. You did it. And then my parents don't have to die in a plane crash. I, uh, oh, um, but that's not how it happened, is it? Mom and Dad's plane went down, no hero saved them. It happened too fast. And now I own their company. Th this is not very good music for this particular dialogue. The music should have shifted here to be a little bit more sensitive to the topic at hand. And now I own their company. So, so I shouldn't be sad, right? I'm rich. I'm powerful. I have everything I could ever want. Except mom and dad. I'm... I'm sorry, Bonnie. Go away. I'm gonna cry for a bit, and corporate executives shouldn't cry in front of employees. It shows weakness and lowers fiscal quarter results. I... I don't have to go. If you need someone to... It's quitting time. Work-life balance. Go home. You're done putting up with me. I'm now I feel bad. She shuffles in place until she's sitting facing away from me, in silence. I really do need to leave. Gotta brief the boss. Gotta start planning the job. If I'm late to leave, it may raise suspicion. But after I steal those secret wrapped chocolates tonight, I'm gonna find a way to sneak one to her. It won't make up for anything, I know that. But maybe it'll help her smile for a moment. Okay. Well, I did my best. After skipping home to grab my gear, a rideshare brings me across town to Isaac's rundown lab. Didn't exactly go according to plan, huh? You got stuck as a babysitter. Yeah, poor kid. She's got some serious problems. I almost wish I could have stayed to help. I remember babysitting for my younger brothers. They'd raise absolute hell around the house anytime mom and dad were away. Kids act out when they're scared or they're sad. I get it. But we've got an algorithm to steal. Gotta focus on that for now. Any luck locating a prize? You're not gonna believe this. We do get to steal chocolate. She had it printed inside the wrappers of some big chonkers. What? You get your science, I get my snacks. It's win-win. Let's run down the plan. Candy from a baby. Planning the job. The layout of the building is a little weird, but nothing I can't handle. Our goal is the central storage facility. That means there's four different paths I can take to get there. I couldn't study their defense in detail. Bonnie kept me away from the security center. That means the safest and riskiest path is from the lobby to the security center, then proceed to storage. I'm confused. How is that both safe and risky? Lobby is the obvious entrance of the building, and the security center is, well, secure. Both are high risk. But it's the safest because if I can pull it off, I'm in control of the building's locks and alarms. We take over the system. Or you get jumped by a dozen guards because you have no idea what's actually in the security center. Risk and reward, boss. That's the nature of the beast. She's not wrong. But I've got other options. A similar route takes me from the lobby to the research lab and beyond, and we did get a lot of intel about the research lab. The lab's full of hazardous materials, but it's also a maze of solid cover, obstacles, and other means of hiding myself. Still risky, but at least I know I can talk you through the environment and help you avoid hazards. You've got the power of science in your corner on this job, so I'd say that's a good candidate. Thanks, Isaac. And we also know that she mislabeled the safe versus the clean. The the hazardous versus the clean or safe items. Now, if I want to bypass the lobby entirely, I go in through Bonnie's personal office. I can grapple up and break in through the window. It'll be way past her bedtime, so the C-suite should be empty. 
less chance of guards too. 